Welcome and thank you for joining us at our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're trusting God to work in us through His Word. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing Him to fill you with His awesome presence and infinite love. Creator God, you made the earth and filled it with your goodness and your glory. You made me too, and I pray you would reveal more of your glory in my life. Luke 8.15 says, The seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. Have you ever planted a seed and waited for it to grow? Did you check on it the next day? and the next. Seeds take time to begin to grow, and when they do, it takes even longer before you are treated to the sight of a flower. But eventually, your patience pays off, and you see your first fruit beginning to ripen. God's word is like a seed. It has everything we need to grow in the life he created us to live but sometimes it takes a while before we see the truths of God's word begin to become a reality in our lives. Some seeds take longer than others to bear fruit, but don't give in to discouragement. There will be a harvest of good fruit. It is a certainty. When we regularly plant God's word into our hearts, He will transform us. We just need patience and to trust the gardener of our souls. Does it sometimes feel like it's taken a long time for the real change to take place in your life? Don't lose heart. Come and put your trust in your heavenly Father again tonight. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in and out and in and out. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the promise that one day I will be just as you made me to be. I will be free from sin, from selfishness, from emotional storms. Help me set my hope on that future. Lord God, I long for the day when I see you face to face. Until then, 
please keep me trusting in you and resting in the promises of your word. One Corinthians thirteen twelve says, For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the promise that a day is coming when I shall know fully. Bless me with the patience and endurance your word promises you give to all your children. Come close during the struggles of my journey. Carry me through the storms. And may your fruit grow and grow and grow. This is my hope tonight, Lord. Amen.